So the resource management plan um, is something that you're going to have as kind of an output of these processes, you know, as you're as you're working on this. So uh, the re part of the resource management plan is going to include a resource schedule. Um, it is an overall component of the project management plan itself. And in this uh, resource management plan, it's going to describe how project resources are acquired, how they're allocated, and how they're monitored and controlled. It's going to encompass identification of resources, right? So you can you have that list there, um, the roles and responsibilities, the authority that they have, any responsibility or competencies. Uh, the project manager and the team, um, as, as the project manager and team estimate activity resources, they're going to produce a calendar, a resource calendar that's going to identify things like working days, hours, weekends, holidays, physical resource availability, if you need a conference room, you know, for like a war room type of thing, attributes like the skills, the experience levels, and the geographies. Um, you might also see a recognition plan you know, how team members are going to be rewarded and recognized because that's important for building trust and for keeping morale boosted on the team. So here's where we get into uh, virtual teams. So again, a virtual team, this is the definition according to PMI. Groups of people with a shared goal who fulfill their roles with little or no time spent meeting face to face. So <laughs> I can imagine you both probably are, you know, in, in the age of our, our pandemic and our current climate, uh, probably working from home. Um, so this, you know, I think everybody, you know, a lot of people have really been kind of almost forced into being a virtual team. And, you know, so it's like we're all kind of having to learn how to, to, to manage a team that we can't see face to face anymore unless it's on a computer screen, right? For a while. And we've had to do that for what, several months now? So this is, I think, a very uh, relevant and, and time specific topic as we're talking about. Um, yeah, virtual teams, you worked with them with McKesson for two years. Yeah, I, I actually prefer it as well. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't know that you necessarily need face to face interaction, especially in, in like an IT environment. Maybe not so much, James, for you in, in a, you know, construction setting, you probably have to <laughs> have a lot more face-to-face -face interaction, but yeah, I would imagine, you know, virtually you can't just, you know, have a computer screen and kind of make sure everybody's doing what they need to do, so it really depends on the industry, but I think in the IT world, especially, you know, which is where I am, IT healthcare, then, you know, it makes sense, and it, and it you know, companies are finding that it saves a lot of money, right? It saves them from having a bunch of people, you know, in their brick and mortar buildings. So, um, on virtual teams, it's important to create opportunities to find team members with greater skills. And that's going to mean that it's lower cost and allows the project to forego relocation expenses, right? So, um, virtualization can create challenges for managing communications and enabling effective team performance. So, again, as we talked about, especially in, in my job, um, they were all very much used to being, it's headquartered in, in Columbus where I am. They were all used to being there together in the office, and now everybody's virtual. So it's like, <laughs> you know, how do you, how do you build that team? How do you build that trust? How do you maintain those relationships? when you're not face-to-face -face anymore. So there are some challenges, especially with communication and, and you know, email has, has problems, chat has problems, but also, you know, there are some, some advantages and disadvantages to it. So it's important to leverage those t technology solutions to facilitate that communication. Things like file shares and wikis and team calendars, you know, to make sure everybody kind of is able to stay on the same page. 